We have level one, level two, and level three. And these levels are such that they have been arranged in order of increasing difficulty for the topics. So starting right now, the plane geometry. And plane geometry is a topic you will find not only in mathematics, as you know. Looking at the next one, conversion of units. Now, conversion of units, you need it in mathematics, you also need it in physics, and a little bit of chemistry as well. In fact, you need it in chemistry because of the topic called more concept, which I will talk about. So, conversion of units, that is distance, time, and then mass, nanometer, picometer, femtometer, and so on. You just need to be a master of these topics. Right from the junior high school, entering the senior high school, this is a topic that your mathematics teacher would always stress on. You find this in mathematics, you find this in chemistry, you also find this in physics. If you don't know these basics, you know, no matter what complex topic you understand, it will be futile because you would have to do a conversion ratio and proportion. Knowledge in ratio and proportion will help you during your time of working on word problem questions. Ratio and proportion will help you in mathematics, physics, and maybe even in chemistry. Standard form decimal places. There are times where you solve questions involving decimals and then you are asked to live in standard form. That is in mathematics and then definitely in physics as well. You're supposed to leave your answer in standard form or leave your answer in a certain number of decimal places. And this is where this topic will come relevant to you. Conversion of units. That is specifically time, distance, and then mass. Very, very important. In mathematics, you need it. In chemistry, you need it. In physics as well, you also need the same topic. In the level one, I mentioned plane geometry. Now in the level two, you need to understand coordinate geometry to know how your graph works. Now, when you are plotting graph, that is in physics and then most likely mathematics, you are asked to find the gradient, parallel lines, and so on. You need to understand them. Getting to understand the coordinate geometry very well will help you to master or score all in your graph work. Most students are not able to do well because they don't know the topics to master. In fact, even in chemistry, you draw graph. So this will also help you in your chemistry. The next area to give attention to is the algebraic expression. And with the algebraic expression, you know, it has to do with mathematics involving variables. So you need to be a master of linear equation. You also need to be a master of simultaneous equation. And those will help you in mathematics, chemistry, and then physics as well. Now, when it comes to quadratic equation, quadratic equation, you are going to have quadratic curves, and this will help you in your mathematics. And then maybe your physics, not really most likely to meet them, but understanding how these curves work would help you to be able to draw your curves. And even with the mathematics, we have elective mathematics or further mathematics, and then core mathematics. You just need to know it. You know, it's so compulsory. If you want to be a master, these topics I'm mentioning should be something that you are giving most attention to. If you are enjoying this video, I would urge you to like this video, share it on social media with your friends so that they can also become like you. And don't forget to subscribe. Let's continue. Another most important topic you are you need to understand is indices and then logarithm. You need indices and logarithm in mathematics, that's your core mass and your elective mass, as well. and even in physics as well. You know, anything just to do with calculations, exponents, your physics and your mathematics are the go-to subjects. And since chemistry also involves some form of calculation, you need it for chemistry as well. You know, before I continue, I'll say this, success is not by accident, success is worked. So, to be successful in your maths, you just need to be intentional about them. So, the next thing we are looking at is circles. Now, in elective maths called mathematics, you deal, with, you deal with in circles. You don't just say circles. It's not only about circles, calculating the area of a circle, the circumference, the sector, and so on. No. Any topic in mathematics called mathematics, elective mathematics, that has to do with circles. You just need to understand circles to be able to grasp them very well, especially you have a topic like circle theorem, which always drop in your core mathematics. You should just understand how circles work. Plus, even looking at circle theorem, you need to also know your plane geometry very, very well. The next relevant topic here is sets. Sets. Now, sets definitely is needed. You find it in mathematics, your core mathematics, your elective mathematics. 
and now with the core mathematics and elective mathematics you have a topic like calculus which is differentiation and integration where you are most likely to find set the next topic in the level two is understanding and figuring out word problem you know mathematics is a skill and you know i learned this the hard way i had to learn mathematics on my own and that was when i realized that the more i studied mathematics on my own the better i became so understanding and figuring out word problem for yourself this is what will make you a champion in mathematics most students are used to getting the formula and filling in with figures but when it comes to word problem this is where your thinking ability is measured and the only way to become better with word problem is to solve more questions because there isn't a specific way to go about word problem once you're exposed to more questions you know how to manipulate the english language with the figures and let us know how to represent figures with variables you will know how to go about it now to the level three the final level the first topic is trigonometry trigonometry is in mathematics and majorly in physics also in core mathematics you always have core mathematics um, in a section b trigonometry is always in a section b you just can't go away with it now probability Probability is a topic you find in core mathematics, elective mathematics as well. You know, you can't do away with them because they always drop every single year, every year. And they are challenging. That's why they are found in a level three. But if you would listen to your tutor, solve more questions, have in mind, you are the one helping yourself to master the skill of mathematics. You would always be ready to pass sequence and series sequence and series is found in core mathematics as well as selective mathematics so you need to understand it very well and they are this topic is always dropping in the final year yek and of the exam on the image by my channel name to see more videos which i make